Okay, so today we're going to learn how to work with eDocmen. eDocmen is a document management component and it allows you to create categories and add documents to those categories. If you take a look in the back end, um, and once you've logged in, you'll navigate to Components eDocmen. And from there, it will take you to a very brightly colored dashboard. I'd like to show you the categories that we've set up. We've got four categories set up. We've got recipes, science papers, instructions, and then loose sheets. Loose sheets is a child category to instructions, so you can see that it is giving you that indication right here. Once you've created your categories, then you will start adding in your documents. Categories are easy to edit and they're easy to add. Just click on the categories title and it will open it up and you really only have to put a title. That's all that's required. Um, if it is a child category to a parent, then you will select its parent category. If you want, you can add a category image. And if you want, you can add a category description. Once you get that done, save and close. Creating a new category is exactly the same. You're just going to click on New, give it a title, don't worry about alias. Any alias in Joomla, Joomla is going to create for you. Select a parent category if it needs one. If you want it to have a, an image, select an image. And then give it a description if you want that description to show. I'm going to hit cancel because I don't really need to create any more. Um, we've seen that we have the recipes, science papers, instructions, and loose sheets. And you can see here um, that we've got about six already in there and if you look over to the right you can see what category they are in. If you want to arrange them by category simply click on the word category and you can see which ones are in the category uh, recipes and which ones are in the category science paper. Okay um, so if we go to the front of the site a document comes packaged with a categories list um, it's a module and you just assign it to the location that you want it to display or alternatively you can create a menu item that links directly to a category in eDocument. Most of the time we're going to do that. We're going to link uh, to a category in eDocument um, or we're going to use one of eDocument's plugins. They have some cool plugins. Um, if you go to Extension Manager Plugins, even though you won't do anything with it, and I'm just going to view all here, um, eDocman does have a category plugin. It's really pretty cool. You just have to publish it. It comes disabled by default. But if you publish it, what you can do is you simply grab this syntax right here inside of this curly bracket and then save it somewhere for safe safekeeping later on. I'm just going to post that in there. And, oop, and I meant to actually say that. Okay, so I've, I've enabled that. You can do the same thing with um, the content link. You can create a content link. So eDocman link one will link to a specific document ID. So we'll take a look at those. So that is enabled now, and I'm going to save and close. Okay, so let's go take a look at the documents themselves. I'm going back to eDocmen and I'm just going to go right into Documents. And I'm going to open one up. Let me see. Let's look at Cooking 2. Cooking 2 has a title, an alias that Joomla filled in for it. Now right here you can see that this is the actual file. If any time you want to replace that file, just browse for a new file and this file will be overwritten. You can give a description for your text if you want to. Once you get all that changed, you're just going to save and close. If you have anything that you need to edit, like this one, I want to change that title. And I also want to trim up the alias. It is in the right category. I don't want to replace that. And the description's a little lame, but I'm going to keep it still the same and I'm going to save and close. Okay, now notice that we have three parent categories and one child category. 
but when I look at the front of the site, I only see two categories and one child category. The reason that is, if you look over here to the right, is because one of the categories has been set as registered, science papers. So in science papers, in any of your categories, you can select whether or not you want the public to be able to view these, or if you want only registered users to view them, or maybe just super administrators to use them. So this one is set to view only to registered users, which means that you must have a login module somewhere on your site so your users can log in to view those documents. I'm going to log in now. I'm going to log in correctly hopefully next time. Okay, and you can see now that I've logged in, all of those categories are displaying for me. If I click on Recipes and I click on Download and I save that file and I go to the back end and I click on Download Logs, it's going to show me that I had downloaded Cooking 3, which I just downloaded, because I'm logged in. However, if I log out, and I go to recipes and I click on cooking one and I save file and I refresh my logs here I just click on logs again you can see cooking one was downloaded but it's not gathering username and email now let's say you want it to gather download um, username and email you would go over to the configuration and you would come down here where it says log downloads is turned on to yes and then oh, let me see collect downloader information is set to no if you turn that on and you save it and refresh it if a user is not logged in and they click on something they're going to get prompted for um, their name and their email. And then they can download that link. Now, that link is going to get sent to their email. If that's not how you want it to handle, if you want them to be able to download the link without waiting to get it in the email, then you can say direct download in the download type. So, what will happen here is if I go to Cooking 2 and I download it, and, and I'll show you that here in just a second. You can see here that I can either click to download it or it just prompts it straight open and I can download it directly from here. What happens when you do that, and when you set all that up that way, is a super administrator will then receive an email that says this downloader has just downloaded the information and it sends you an email with their information on it. So it's pretty handy, but you have to have, in order to get that, you have to have collect downloader information turned on, um, log downloads turned on, and then um, direct download or um, send download link. Either one of those two will be fine. Okay, so let's look at how we can get some documents up. The way that the documents got into the system, and the obvious one is, click on New, give it a title, select the category, select additional categories if it's in more than one, and choose your file. Let me see. Let me collect one. Let's try how to swim. We're going to put that in instructions. We're going to call that how to swim. Leave the alias blank. Joomla is going to do that for you. If you need to keep track of what version this is, you can do that here. I'm going to select instructions and um, I've got how to swim already selected. I don't really want to use thumbnails, um, so I'm not going to. And I'm going to just grab some text here. I'm going to put it here. 
and that'll do me. And I'm going to save and close. So now under instructions, I have a new document. So that's the way that you can do it one, one at a time. Now, if you, wanted, if you have a lot to do it, that can be a little time consuming. So it has a really great batch upload. Simply select the category you want it to go into, select the access, select the files. Once they're in, select upload. When you see two green, or when you see all of the files with the green check to the far right, then go on to the next step. From here, you can rename them. It's going to name the title exactly whatever the file was. That may not be the title that you want to display on the front of the site. So typically, you're going to remove at least the, the extension and then put in your descriptions and finish up. And then you can see here that I've now got three instructions in, three recipes and three science papers. So you can go in and swap them around anytime you want to. If you wanted to change that to loose sheets, I'm changing the category here, I can do that here. So now we've got some um, documents in every category. Um, only I can't see the category here because I'm not logged in. Anyway, it's that easy. Um, working with eDocument categories and documents is, is very quick. I would suggest, um, if you have the opportunity, to try to play around with the uh, plugins as well. The content plugins are really pretty cool. Um, I just want to basically or quickly show you the basics. Um, let's say here on the home page, which is called Online Marketing, get found on, oh, what is that one called? That is my featured, okay, okay. <laughs> so I'm going to grab that. And I am going to put in a whole category. Now, let me show you how I'm going to do that here. First of all, I'm going to turn that back on. And I'm just going to put this plugin code right here. The only thing is I didn't get a chance to look at my category numbers, so I need to do that first. So let's go back over to eDocument, look at our categories, and decide what category we want there. I want recipes, so it's ID number one. So I need to go back over to my article and change um, that 13 to just a one. So I'm just going to remove that three, and I'm going to save and close. Now it's going to respect the um, access settings. So if I had to put in that category that was registered users only, then it's not going to display on the front of the site in the content unless the user is actually logged in. But since I chose a public one, it's going to show right here just like that. So that's a pretty cool little thing. Um, and so you can kind of intersperse your documents in with your articles if you want to do it that way. Let's just say you want to show a, a bunch of different random categories in between some text. This is a great way to do that. Um, another way to use it is just to show a specific document. Um, they've got a content link for a document, so you're just going to go over to your documents. And let's just say I want to show how to tie shoes. Um, so I'm just going to grab that, that ID right there, and I'm going to change it over in my little syntax. And I'm going to go over to Articles, and I'm going to replace that category I just want to get rid of that category, and I'm going to just put a link to a specific document right there. So let's look at that. Here we have a nice big download button that we can use to download our document.